Hello, my name is David Gomez, and today I'm going to talk to you about coursework submission, feedback, and grades. So first I'm going to just briefly cover how you should prepare your submission um, for coursework on my modules. Then I'll show you how to submit your work. Then I'll explain how you can see your grade for your individual bit of coursework, and the feedback that the teacher gives you about, you know, coursework, if that comments, stuff like that. And also how you can see your overall module grade. And then at the, in the last part, I'll cover group coursework for those modules um, that have that group, that have group coursework, won't apply to everyone. Okay, so obviously, first step, um, you've got to prepare uh, your submission, yeah? So for all my modules this year, you have to submit a single zip file. So we've got to create a file that contains all the folders for, for the submission, yeah? And the best way to go about this, at least how I found it, is um, you create a separate folder and then you copy into that separate folder everything you need for your submission. You organize that folder, you know, in a reasonably tidy way. Um, check, double check it, because you can't correct mistakes after the deadline. And then zip up everything in that folder and submit it, yeah? So the folder that is going to hold your submission would typically contain um, the code. So put the code into a separate subfolder. Don't mix up the code with the report and the video demonstration, database dump, all that kind of stuff, yeah? Try and keep it tidy, put the code separately. And then in the root of that folder, put the report, the video demonstration, and if, if necessary, a database dump. Um, okay, so it should look a bit like this. We're gonna, so here I've created a sort of separate folder here to hold my submission, because then I can be clear about that I've got everything correct here. And inside that separate folder, um, I've got a subfolder with all the code in it. I've got the report, um, and I've got the video demonstration. There might be one or two other things as well, yeah? Now to create your zip file, um, you know, you, you need some kind of bit of software to do that for you. Windows has a built-in zip sort of functionality, but it's not that great. So in Windows, I recommend they use 7-zip. It's a really nice program, makes it really easy to create zip files and to open zip files, yeah? In, if you're using a Mac, there'll be a similar kind of utility that will let you zip up a folder, um, you know, use it in some kind of special Mac way, yeah? Um, so I recommend you use 7-zip, so install it. And once it's installed, you right click on the files that you want to create a zip folder from, zip file from. Um, you right click on the files you want to compress, select add folder name, um, where the folder name's the name of the folder that you're in, and then it'll create a zip file, yeah? And what you should definitely absolutely do is double check um, that everything is there inside your zip file. Because it, it might be the case that you, you know, what was select you didn't select all of the necessary files and your zip file doesn't have everything correct inside it. So double check that your zip file is correct before submitting it because there won't be a chance to correct mistakes after the deadline. So here we go. I've selected all the files in my submission folder and then I'm selecting 7-zip, add to demo submission zip, where demo submission is the name of the folder, yeah? So you can always change the name later, but it just automatically names the zip file after the folder that's inside, yeah? And then when it, if it's worked, which it usually does, because 7-zip's good, um, we should have a zip file here that contains all of these uh, files and folders. Okay, so let's do a little demo. I know it's kind of basic stuff, but um, I think it's very important to make, you know, get do this do this well and correctly yeah so so here what I've got I've got my demo submission this is a separate folder I've created to, to do the you know my submission from inside demo, demo submission I've got my code now this is a very basic website so it's only got HTML files but obviously if it had like CSS and images and you know PHP and all that kind of stuff then I use separate folders to hold the different file types yeah so this is only a demo but you you should have a, a much better organized folder because there's marks for file organization yeah but anyway, the important thing here is that all of the all of the code is in a in a separate folder, and then the root of this directory, I've also got the report and I've got the video demonstration. So all we have to do is just select all of that, right click on it, and then seven zip is like added to the sort of right click click menu bar, and then we do add to demo submission zip here, and seven zip's good and fast, and here it creates a separate folder, um, that's our zip file, and that should if it's all worked correctly, contain the submission, all these files here, yeah? So you should double check it, because um, make sure that your submission's correct. And if we double click on it here in Windows, it'll also automatically open it like a sort of, you know, like a sort of a separate folder or something. Anyway, it'll automatically open it, and then we can see that inside, inside the zip file, we've got the code, and we've got the report and the video demonstration. So I'm confident now um, that this is correct. And then this demo submission here, is what I'd be submitting, you know, uh, on the course website. 
Okay, so we've got our zip file ready to submit. The next stage is obviously we need to actually submit that submit that on the course website. So the course website has separate links for each of the each of the coursework submissions. So you click on the appropriate link, click submit paper, upload the zip file, and you should receive an email receipt for your submission. Now prior to the deadline, you can resubmit your coursework multiple times. I mean there might be a limit of about three or something. Um, after the deadline, you can make a submission, um, but you can't make a resubmission. Yeah. Um, when you made a submission, if you want to be absolutely double sure um, that it's correct, I recommend you to click on the link to the coursework and download it. Have a quick look inside, make sure it's the right version of your software and all the rest of it. I can't count the number of times um, that students come to me and said, oh, you know, I submitted the wrong version of my code and blah, 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 blah. And if it's after the deadline, and, you know, there's really no excuse for that, yeah? And in future life, right, you know, your life's going to go badly if you don't make take care of uh, job applications all the rest of it, yeah? So you're likely to lose marks if you don't double-check that your submission is the correct submission, yeah? Take some responsibility for that. Double Download it, double-check it, because if, for example, you upload the wrong version of your software, um, then you're just going to lose marks for it if that's an earlier version with less functionality, okay? So double-check that the coursework you've submitted is correct. That's your responsibility, okay? To make submission in story and pictures, so to speak, we click on a link. So this is just an example of my second year course. So I suppose we want to make a final submission of coursework one. So I've given you a list of the things that should be in the zip file for each submission, it's trying to make it easier for you. So look at that list when you create your zip file to make sure you've got everything there, yeah? So let me click on that link, um, and then it takes us through the submission place here. Then we click on submit paper, and it takes us through to here. And then we can drag and drop or click and upload um, the files in this section here. We give it some kind of sensible title, that's particularly sensible. Um, and then we do, we agree to whatever we're agreeing to. Um, and then we click on add submission. And then you should, um, it'll sort of process it a little bit. Um, and then you'll see here that it's actually got the submission here. Uh, and you've got the option here to download it. Oh, by the way, when you on this page, you've also got what's called the rubric. This is like the marking form that, that's used for marking your, your coursework. So if you want to see the marks, I mean, they're already available in the coursework in the description, but they're also available here if you want to have a sort of final double check, yeah? All right, so let's do a little demo of that. Um, okay, so this is me uh, pretending, you know, with, um, with Moodle, I can pretend to be a student. So this is me in my what's called a student role. So let's say we want to do the coursework one final submission here, yeah? So this may take a little while, yeah. Um, okay, so but we, we, we'll work with that. Yeah, so um, before I go into this, yeah. So here we've got our submission. If we want to see the, the marking criteria, um, then they should come up here with a bit of luck. Um, so here you can see this, the marking criteria, which are exactly the same as the ones in the coursework description. So you don't really need to see them there, but just, you know, they're there anyway. Then to make our submission, we click on Submit Paper. This will open up here. So then we can drag and drop. There might also be a way of clicking on it, maybe. Yeah, there we go, yeah. But I'm not gonna bother, it's easier dragging and dropping. So here I've got my zip file I've created. So then I can go here, drop it across there. So that's the zip file with all of my submission, the code, the report, and the video demonstration. And so if you look at the size of it, this is like 10, 10 megabytes, yeah? So it's a very manageable size of, of thing. Then we can give it a title, um, you know, uh, so I know coursework. One final, so I'm dealing with a microphone here. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Okay, and then we check on the box to agree to the, the terms and conditions. Um, so here we've got the file, it's uploaded, got a title, and then we can just click on that submission. <coughs> It'll upload it, turn it in. And this won't generate any similarity reports because it's just a zip file. Um, but, you know, if we think there is high levels of similarity, we may well uh, check that by uploading your report separately to a separate place, yeah? I haven't really had many issues. Most of the issues are, you know, anyway, never mind, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so we've submitted it, and then it refreshes, and then we can see it there, and if we want to download it, um, we could download the submission there, yeah? I mean, I'm not sure it's such a good idea to try that. Yeah, so there you go. It'll let you download it. So download it and double-check it. Just to be completely sure you've uploaded the right version of the code, the right version of the report, and the right version of the video demonstration. Okay. So, we've submitted the work. 
And then the next stage will be um, to get, you know, at, you know, within 15 days, uh, 15 working days, a bit of luck, um, teacher will have marked your coursework, and then you'll be able to get the grade for your coursework as well as some feedback about it, yeah? So that's the next stage. So once it's been marked, um, you can just ask your teacher about that in a laboratory session. It usually take a couple of weeks because, you know, quite busy. Um, so once it's been marked, you'll be able to see the grade just by going through to, to the submission link. And then see the feedback itself, it's a little bit more complicated. You have to click on this sort of uh, little symbol here, this sort of speech bubble symbol. You click on view rubric, and then you'll be able to see the detailed comments uh, from the person who marked your work, yeah? So again, we go to the submission link to see so for individual coursework, we can just go to the same submission link to see the feedback. It'll open up this, and then we can see the grade that we've achieved for our coursework here, which is, in this case, 39 out of 55. Um, then to actually see the feedback, um, we go here, um, and here, and then here we have to click on this little speech bubble thing. Then we have to click on view rubric, and then we get the full detailed feedback about uh, for the mark for our coursework, yeah? So here we've got the description of each of the features. These are again taken straight out of the coursework description. So this is the maximum, this is out of five, right? So five here is the maximum mark for a basic game. These are the, this is the mark that the teacher has actually given you for each feature. So here the game's not very advanced, so it's only, the teacher's only given two. And here you've got the individual comments that explain if, if the mark is full marks, you're just going to get like a good or something like that. Um, if the mark is less than full marks, you should get some kind of feedback about, you know, why you didn't get full marks for that feature, yeah? So that's how you get the grade for a piece of coursework, as well as the detailed feedback about that piece of coursework. Now to see all of your grades for the module, including your final overall grade, you can click on the grades tab in the left-hand menu. Now to, to get this feature working, I really need some grades in the system so I can tweak, you know, the weightings and all this kind of stuff. So this feature isn't working yet, but I'm aiming to get it working by the end of the uh, autumn term. So all of the grades for your coursework will be pushed, will be put through my learning and I'll do my best to ensure that each of the grades um, will appear here, but I can't use my test account. It doesn't work properly with this. So I need to have, have some real grades in the system and then I'll get it working for you, yeah? So by spring, let's say, you should be able to see how you're progressing in the module and what your grade is, yeah? That's the plan. Um, oh, wait a minute, I was gonna do a demo of this actually. Um, so yeah, let's, um, let's just do a demo of this, yeah? So I've submitted this coursework here. Um, so let me just quickly mark it. So I'll just, I can even show you what, so this is coursework we're in final submission. So I've got two, two browsers because one, in one browser I'm logged in as a student, one browser I'm logged in as a, as a teacher, yeah? So I'll just show you, I'll show you the whole process about the feedback actually, I meant to do that. Okay, so let's just go into, uh, this, so here the teacher's seeing all the all the submissions, yeah? Um, and then we're gonna go into one particular submission and the teacher's gonna mark it here. So let's just say basic game. So as I said, we'll give you, you know, I'm not gonna mess around a lot with this, but advanced game, go, I'm not gonna do a whole marking thing here. Could be more advanced. And then we'll do basic storage, you know, whatever, five. This is, you know, uh, more feedback we'll call it yeah so you can see that it's working yeah okay so so and so forth um and the teacher will do apply to grade okay um so they'll apply this mark here from the marking form to the grade here and then when it's closed in theory um it will save okay so here you can see that the student has a grade of uh, 12 out of 55 and then if they refresh it uh and if it all works well so this is now what you will see this is your student sort of view of this thing yeah um, so it's now showing you that your grade here, as you can see here, it's got 12 out of 55. And if you want to see your feedback, you click on the, on the submission itself. You can also click on this little pencil symbol, you get into the feedback studio and you click on here, the little speech bubble, click on view rubric. So it's also complicated. Don't blame me for that. And then here I can see all the feedback. Yes, yeah, so I put more feedback and bother filling the rest in, but the teacher will obviously have marked all of your, all of the different, uh, marking criteria. And then you can see the detailed feedback there, yeah? So that's how you see both the grade and the feedback um, for a submission. And let's cover that. All right. Um, and then we'll do the group. So, so I think I've given you enough information about how to prepare your coursework, submit your coursework, and view your grades and feedback, yeah? So I'm just going to have one quick section here 
um, explaining how group coursework's marked and feedback's given, because that's a little bit different, yeah, as well as a submission system. But if you're on one of my modules with just individual coursework, like my third year module on advanced web development, you can just skip the section and there's not much, you can just end the lecture here if you like, yeah? So group coursework, um, the submission link and the feedback link are different. This is just due to a quirk of Moodle and the limitations of Moodle and there's nothing you can do about that, yeah? But this is at least, so this, this works. I'm pretty confident this is gonna work, um, but it's just a little bit more fiddly and you just gotta get your head around it a little bit, yeah? So for group coursework, the procedure is, the, is as follows, yeah? So only one member of the group needs to upload the group coursework, yeah? There's no point in lots of them uploading it and you might end up uploading, uploading different versions. It's gonna create a mess. Get together when you finish your coursework and upload it together. That's what I strongly recommend, okay? But only one of them, only one member of each group needs to upload it, yeah? Because the teacher has the list of all the groups, so they're just gonna check each, each name in that list and see who has uploaded it and then they'll download it themselves, yeah? Then, um, this will all become clearer when you actually watch the video for coursework two, if you're on my second year course on web applications. Um, but then the teacher will mark the coursework using a spreadsheet, and that spreadsheet will calculate an individual grade for each group member, yeah? Then they'll upload probably a PDF version of that spreadsheet into the feedback section, and, and they'll also give the grade for each individual student in that feedback section, yeah? So, um, so we have two sections um, of the course website when we're dealing with group coursework, yeah? You've got a submission section. So here, one member of the group um, will make a submission of the coursework, okay? Um, the mark and feedback and all that will not appear within the submission section. And then we have a feedback section where the teacher will upload the spreadsheet for each student in the group, as well as the individual mark of each student in the group. And that's what will happen in this section here, yeah? So separate sections for submission and feedback for the group coursework. So to make a submission, it's the same way. One member of the group will click on that link, or you'll, but you all should be present to make sure that everything's correct. Because if I've seen a situation where one member uploaded everything for the group and got it wrong, <laughs> and the rest of the group was very angry. Um, so click one member of the group with all other group members present, um, clicks on the submission link, and then uploads it in the usual way that I've already explained. And then when you want to see your individual mark <coughs> for the group coursework, you click on the feedback link here, for example, and that'll take you through to this page, I can't test it because my student account doesn't really support it. Student sort of uh, simulation thing doesn't really support it, but but this will work. So when you're when when the coursework's being marked, you click on that link, and you'll be able to see the zip file um, containing the sorry not a zip file a PDF with the spreadsheet or just the spreadsheet, and you'll also be able to see your individual mark uh, for that group coursework there. Yeah. Okay. So um, that wraps it up. So in this talk, I've explained how to prepare your coursework for submission how to submit your coursework, and how to view your coursework grades and feedback. There's also a slightly different process that's used for group coursework, so if you have to submit uh, group coursework, um, you know, follow, follow the procedure that I've explained in the last part of this, in this talk. Okay, and that's it.